Onlookers watched as crews moved a 50-foot electromagnet down the street from Lamont to Bolingbrook. The Muon G-2 has traveled 3,200 miles from Brookhaven National Laboratory in New York through the Gulf of Mexico, up the Mississippi River, to finally land by barge in Lamont. Tonight marked the first leg of a three-day transport of the electromagnet, which will end at its new home at Fermilab in Batavia. My daughter was coming down the street and she saw this big object and she stopped somebody and says, it's a big giant magnet coming through, once in a lifetime thing. So we got in my car and we came down here to see it. It's big and huge. I want to be um, a, science, a scientist and make experiments, like build one of these these days. The muon G-2 will study the wobble of muons, subatomic particles with a lifetime of only 2.2 millionths of a second. The idea is to see if there's any new physics out there that we don't know. So we have, we have this thing called the standard model, which describes particle physics really, really, really well. And we're trying to poke holes in it. You know, we're experimentalists, so you know, the theorists tell us, well, this is the way nature should be, and we check it. And we're hoping, you know, it'll be very exciting to find something that the theory d d doesn't explain because then that means that there's new physics going on and, and, and that would be very cool for us to do. To build a new electromagnet would have cost about $30 million, but transferring it costs only about $3 million. But it's a tricky process. The muon G-2 can't twist or it will damage the ring entirely. It's made out of metals and uh, aluminum mainly, copper, but there's a special metal that, it's, that, that's, that it uses called niobium titanium, okay? And that, that is, that's a very special metal. It's, uh, it's like as fine as, your, as human hair. If the magnet twists, then we have the possibility of, of breaking these very delicate strands. In charge of moving the device is Emmer International, an organ-based company that specializes in heavy haul transportation. We're just so fortunate. We have great guys that have great depth perception. And remember, they have the guys on the ground when they get into tight spots. There's a, man on each side watching to make sure we have the clearance, all radio communication, and we just take it slow and easy to make sure the load drives perfectly safe. This is one of the widest loads ever to be transported across Illinois roads, requiring the closing of streets and removing signs that could be in the way. Therefore, all travel will be done at night. Night one was a success, ending at the Costco parking lot in Bolingbrook. From there, it will continue to Hidden Lakes Forest Preserve in Glen Ellen, where it will stay for another night, and finally ending at Fermilab early Friday morning. Stay up to date with social media updates. Like Naperville Community Television on Facebook and follow NCTV17 on Twitter for updates from our team in the field all week. And catch all the video updates on our website, nctv17.com. Reporting from Bolingbrook, John Hannon, Naperville News 17.